Hey what's up guys my name is Liz It's been a long time to not upload a video on YouTube But actually I was preparing for some exciting videos for you And one of them is I'm going to build and customize this old Gundam LO booster It is commission work for someone but I think because this is a special kit I have to make an unboxing video for it Alright this kit comes with 3 bags It includes only 6 runners one color correcting sticker and one sticker decal that is not so good it only has a few parts so you can just get it it will be a very simple kit because it was released about 24 years ago what he had been through all this time for the kit that is so old we can expect much there will definitely be a lot of drawbacks one of them that is very feasible is in terms of color it has colors that are not very 2021st. His red color is very blue, his blue color is too dark for my taste, and other shortcomings that I will explain later throughout this video. Since this kit is so imperfect, it is my job to make it more attractive. So stay tuned for another video of me customizing this kit. The next complaint for me about this kit is it has a super bold runner. Moreover, it has some annoying number tags on that. Look at that. What's the use of the space between the numbers? It became very difficult to cut the parts, especially I only use a cheap nipper. Maybe I need to buy a thinner nipper or even a one-sided nipper, but I believe these runners will definitely harm the nipper. So yeah, maybe I'm annoyed, but there's no point in complaining because this is an old school kit, right? We have to accept everything is got. Since this is a problem that isn't with the kit, I just got a little angry. And one thing that I want to tell you is, I think Bandai now is not really producing toys. They are producing something more than a toy. It is a model kit a figure or something good like that but they definitely have gone through a very rapid development right because about many many years ago they can only produce a kit like this this is what i would say as a toy this is almost the same feeling when i built a toy or played with a toy when i was a little if you have assembled an old kit like this you will really really appreciate the newest kit from bandai and before I leave you to enjoy this build video, if you are planning on building this kit or if you wanted to customize this kind of kit, please consider to cut the male or female joint before assembling it. Because they fit very very tight. And I think you will break something if you didn't cut the male or female joint before. Alright, so please enjoy this video and click the like button or subscribe this channel if you got something interesting from my videos. Thank you.
guys thank you very much for watching this video what an enjoyable simple kit right and i'm going to review this old kit in the next video so make sure to subscribe like and share this video to your friends so you can tell something fun with them once again thank you very much and see you in the next video bye